So, to end things off today, we are going to review Little Women. For those of you who aren't familiar with the iconic novel, Little Women follows the coming of age of four young women in the duration and the aftermath of the American Civil War. And this shows just all the trials and errors that come with their with their growing up, with their trying to make it by in the absence of their father, who's in, who's fighting for the Union Army in, in the war. And this film has an incredible amount of pedigree behind it. Um, you have Dr- Greta Gerwig writing and directing the film. You have a stacked cast uh, that includes Saoirse Ronan, Florence Pugh, Timothy Chalamet, Emma Watson, Laura Dern, Meryl Streep, Chris Cooper. Uh, I feel like there's maybe one or two big names that I'm forgetting, but I think all the actors and actresses that I just mentioned are you know, reason enough that they, they've, ensembled, they've assembled quite an ensemble here. Um, so what I will say about this film, just to start things off, is that I thought this was absolutely wonderful. This now keep in mind, I never read the book, so I'm gonna I'm gonna review this to the best of my ability because I'm sure there are a lot of people wondering out there like, how does that add up to the book? Does it pay respect to the book? I got tickets for my mom and my sisters for this film for Christmas, and my mom loves has always loved the book. She's loved it since she was a child. And based on what she's told me, and she loved it. She absolutely loved it. And I feel that if it didn't pay enough respect to the book, if it wasn't like the book enough, then she wouldn't have been as crazy about it considering how invested she's been in the book since her childhood. So I'm going to trust her judgment on that one. So what I will say is that Greta Gerwig at the helm, she, she knocks it out of the park yet again. I think she did a terrific job with Lady Bird. And at least with this film, I see there's, you could definitely see that she cares a lot about all the stories going into it. One thing that I love is that there's so many different storylines and character arcs and emotions going on in this film. And not once does the film ever feel overstuffed and never feels like it's meandering and never feels aimless. And I think to have so much going on. And think, think about it too. Like Little Women is of course you know a long book. It's a big book. And to have so many of those stories. Just streamlined into one film narrative arc. For it to come off the way it does. And for it to work the way it does. I think that's something to celebrate. I think that she should be. I think that she should be very proud of what she did. Overall I think this film is definitely better than Lady Bird. This movie is 2 hours and 15 minutes long. I can't say it ever felt over long, and like I said, it definitely feels it definitely never feels overstuffed. So I think with as much going on as it does, and for it to feel the way that it does, I think that's you know that's that's something to remember. I think, and keep in mind, this is my first exposure to this story. I'd always walked in every now and then on my mom and my sister is watching the other Little Women adaptations, but this being my first story, I couldn't help but notice just how how invested I was in each and every single character and each and every in each and every single part of the story. Well another thing that's that works very well in this film that honestly stands out so much are the performances across the board. Like I said, there is a huge ensemble that was put together for for little women this time around. And even amongst all these people that all, you know, hold their own very well. They all do what they have to do and then some. There are a few performances that stand out. One of them is Saoirse Ronan. The lead role she plays Joe March. Now Saoirse Ronan and Greta Gerwig previously worked on Lady Bird. And Saoirse Ronan, the role that she plays in Lady Bird is kind of similar to the role that she plays in Little Women. These two characters, Joe March and Christine McPherson, I, I, I believe that's her name in, in Lady Bird. Um, these two characters are both these very fiery, very and very free-spirited young women that kind of just want to break out from, you know, their lives and go on to bigger and better things. And even though that these characters are very similar, these two characters that Saoirse Ronan played, they never once feel like she's doing the same thing. Florence Pugh, as the as the spoiled youngest sister, I think she, she does very well. Um, Timothy Chal- Chalamet as one of the main Love interest, he plays Theodore Lawrence, or, you know, he's called Laurie throughout the film. I think he does very well. He brings a lot of layers. He brings a kind of, like, 
quirky and kind-hearted, but also very passionate portrayal of Lori. There isn't, a, there isn't a weak leak in this entire film. Another thing that stands out to me as well, of course, other than the, you know, the, the musical score is great, the artistic design, the production, the, you know, the sets, the, the costume design, the, they're all spectacular. They're absolutely spectacular, and they're just yet another element of the film that helped bring me into, into the world of the film, that helped me keep more and more invested into everything that was going on on the screen. So... If there's one thing that I wasn't as crazy about with the film, was that it kind of switches back and forth between one point in the lives of the March family and another point in the, li in the lives of the March family. And at first it was a bit jarring and a tiny bit confusing, but it recovers itself very well. Because I noticed that between each different time period, there was a very, very slight difference in, you know, in the lighting or the, the color palette in each time setting. And it was, and it walks a very tricky tightrope of being just noticeable enough so that you get it like, okay, this, it, we're now in this time period as opposed to this time period without it being too obnoxious. There's, it's very subtle, but it's communicated very well, that time jump. So that was something that I thought, oh man, is this going to bother me throughout the film? But no, it, it, it pulls itself back up very, very well. And in terms of awards consideration, I think this could definitely contend and should definitely contend across the board. Best Picture, um, Director and Adapted Screenplay for Greta Gerwig, Actress for Saoirse Ronan, Supporting Actress for Florence Pugh, in, in a less competitive year for Supporting Actor, um, Timothy Chalamet, and then of course, you know, artist, Artistic Design, you know, Production, Costume Design, um, I'm sure Music, you know, Original Score is going to contend somehow, even though I just predicted otherwise, but again, I could be, I could be wrong, Alexander Desplatz, you know, he always, he did the score, he always gets in there somehow. Um, but no, this, across the board, this is a very, very well done film. It was absolutely wonderful. And I, I didn't think I wouldn't enjoy it, but I didn't think, I thought I would like it, but I didn't think I'd like it this much. I thought this would be, you know, of course, more of a chick flick. And it probably is more of a chick flick at its core, but it has more to offer than that. And I was very pleasantly surprised at that. So to wrap this up, Greta Gerwig's Little Women is a sensitive, poignant, and elegant adaptation of the iconic novel, that shows a deep respect for the source material and is chock full of fine performances and dazzling artistic design. I'm going to give Little Women another 95.